Hi everyone, this is another vinyl update video. Um, I've got a small, smallish pile of vinyl and some CDs to show off. Um, I've been trying to downsize, hence the sort of general clutter, um, but generally not doing the best of jobs when it comes to doing that. Um, but yeah, I've recently discovered that I've got quite a lot of um, CDs in vinyl which I've got, which I just don't listen to much, so a lot of that seems to be going on on the for sale pile. Um, but yeah, uh, I've recently been sort of working on my um, record label, which uh, I've started up, but I haven't got anything to release yet, but I'm currently in the process of uh, doing the first tape, tape release, which is going to be a sort of small run of this uh, band from Bristol, um, that that should be very exciting. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, but until until then, um, yeah, I'm aiming to sort of um, save up because once I get to um, doing these sort of larger runs, things do get a bit more costly. Uh, it costs about something like two hundred pounds to do a hundred run, but yeah, again, that's very cheap compared to CDs, where you end up paying something like four pound each. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I've got some mixed responses so far. Um, some people have been quite keen about it. So others have been a bit um, uh, less than interested. Some have been a bit cynical, but. Um, Hey, that's what happens when you try and revive the dead format. Anyways, um, first off, uh, I've, I managed to get this through the post about a week back. This is um, Wolf Alice's debut album, My Love Is Cool. Um, I wouldn't say this is the greatest album ever, but it's it's got some good tracks on there. And if you're into that whole sort of dream pop stroke shoegaze thing, I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, I'm not quite so mad about that sort of period in music, um, but I like some of it, and I, I did, I did mind that album. And um, secondly, I managed to get these through the post this morning. Uh, these are currently on Amazon for five pounds each. Uh, these are two sort of deluxe editions uh, of Sandy Denny albums. Uh, I, I'm a massive fan of her music. Um, the, the sense about her voice, you know, the, very few um, female singer-songwriters have been able to sort of match it. Uh, I, I mean, there's been a couple, but I think with Sandy Denny, the difference is that she was a very good songwriter as well. <laughs> yeah, um, and I mean, this album, Sandy, from 1972 is probably one of my favourite albums, but the main reason why I actually bought both of these albums are, was for the bonus tracks. Um, I mean, with this album, it's it's quite well produced, it's not too overbearing, and even when they do stuff like put pedal steel on there and give it a sort of country-ish feel, it still works. Or even if they get Antoisant doing, doing some horn arrangements, um, but it's nice to hear sort of like the stripped back demos of it. Um, in the whole album of this is in demo form. And it's, it's quite interesting to listen. Um, Rendezvous, her last album um, from 1977, is, is, isn't very good. Um, I, mean, I mean, there's moments on that. I like her version of... Um, I wish I was a fool for you, the Richard Thompson song, but I still got to admit that Richard Thompson done it better. Um, and there's some utter crap on there, like a, a version of Candle in the Wind. Uh, but it's more of a soft rock record than a, than a um, folk album, which is a bit disappointing, really. I, I've got nothing against soft rock, but when you sort of hear people who so I shouldn't really do soft rock albums, you know, this, it doesn't sound very good. Um, but the, the, re the real reason for buying this, though, is 
there is a version of uh, No More Sad Refrains on it, which has just got Sandy and a piano, and it is, it's beautiful, you know, there's, um, it, it's a kind of, it's, it's just, difficult to put in words, it, it just sounds amazing. And you wondered why the hell did her husband and producer Trevor Lucas start slopping on sort of strings and all, and, and all that shit, you know. It, it's, it's a pity, there's some, some singer-songwriters should just really sort of make sparse records. And it's a shame that Sandy Denny never did that. I mean, she died about a year after that album. But there's some fun songs on that. Um, yeah, onto the vinyl. First one is uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Bark at the Moon. It's a very sort of middling album, but at least it's not. Um, I mean, the only other version I've got is on MP3, and it's a remix where they got where Sharon got um, that guy from Faith No More to do the drums in on bass. They had. Um, that guy in Metallica. Um, but I mean, there's, there's some fun songs on that album, but it's not Ozzy's best. It's not as good as his first two. Um, yeah, next up, Violent Femmes. Uh, absolutely love this record. Very sort of Jonathan Richmond-ish. Um, yeah, I had this on cassette, but I found it on vinyl for about for under £10. So I couldn't resist that. Um, yeah, this one I bought and put on the for sale pile, um, the Stone Roses. I like this album, but it's not my favourite. But I thought for £7 on Amazon, I'd go for it. But unfortunately, you know, I, I managed to read sort of a, a lot of reviews of this pressing where they say, oh, it's really quiet, rather sort of lifeless sounding. So um, I thought, well, I've already got a CD, so I thought, well, I'll sell it. Um, Maybe if a better pressing sort of um, makes an appearance at a decent price, I'd probably buy it. Um, so yeah, on to the last lot. Uh, I went to Bristol last week. Um, Rick Buckler from the Jam was doing a sign-in. Um, I was amazed at the amount of people there who, um, all these sort of middle-aged men in Ben Sherman polo shirts, who, who, who just despised uh, Paul Weather for sort of blanking his other two bandmates. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the jam, but not sort of a diehard, I suppose. I, well, I've got most of their stuff, but, um, but yeah, it, it was pretty good. I was maybe a bit too tired to do all the gushy fan stuff, but, um, but yeah, that's going up soon. Uh, but yeah, while I was in there, I managed to uh, do a bit of record shopping. I found uh, Sunflower on uh, by the Beach Boys for ten pounds. I mean, brilliant album, um, and it's a nice upgrade from my from my uh, original pressing, which is maybe a bit beat up. Uh, Young Fathers, White Men, and Black Men too. Um, I mean, this is sort of an upgrade from a cassette copy. Um, this is a very good record. I mean, very hard to classify. It sounds more like TV on the radio than a hip hop record. Highly recommended. And last but not least, I've got Smile through the post. Um, love this record. Uh, very ahead of its time. It's, and it's a shame it never got released when it did. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for now. Um, I've ordered some stuff through. Hopefully I'm going to get the Sleaford Mods new album next month. So maybe towards the end of next month I'll do another update. But until then, goodbye.